All right, man, Torture Talk. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I'm glad to see y'all here. Glad to see y'all. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Like, I can see y'all motherfuckers, right? <laughs> Tell them motherfuckers, come in, come on in. Everybody, come on in. Like, you over there, I'm over here. <laughs> uh, but y'all know what I mean. All right, man, good morning, man. Good morning, good morning. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about Charlemagne. Charlemagne, the God, coming at uh, Drake's fans and Drake saying that, you know, certain things. So before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies. Yeah, you put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over, to over, over 11,000. About to reach 12,000 and a million by Monday morning, man. So look, let's get to it. Uh, let me know where you're from, too. So we're going to get right to the. Let's go. All right, man, you already know. Link's going to be in the description. Let's go. <laughs> the only reason we know Drake's not the guy no more is because it's shit like this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You just never act like you never lost. Act like you never lost. He's acting like he lost. Like, you you posted pictures of Solange in the elevator? Yeah. yeah, first thing Trump did after the debate with Kamala, which we all thought he lost, was like, Great debate, best debate I've ever had in my head. Like everybody everybody saying I won. Everybody <laughs> saying I won. And then you start watching, like, damn, you won that one. <laughs> Listen, it Drake, will warp your yeah. perspective. Drake's fans are so delusional, and they, they they're not. They love him so much. He's got a cult like following. Mm. He probably sold out of those OVO hoodies in seconds, right? They're not giving up on him. Act like your fans. Mm. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact, Drake. Act like your fans, man, because to me, you look like a bitch out here right now. And I and I and I'm being serious. Like, you looking like a real, 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 a real bitch. And it's like, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? What are we doing here? This battle's been over what, four or five months now, six months or some shit like that. And it just to me, it just seems like, it seems like, although I don't want it to end. It just seems like Drake, Drake don't know how to take a loss. He just don't know how. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see it in all his actions. He don't know how. Even when he's trying to be quiet, he still don't know how. And then what he does is he thinks by, this is how you know, like, to be honest with y'all, this is how you know Drake really don't got no, uh, he ain't had no really good upbringing. Because if you had really good upbringing, you know when enough is enough. You know when to quit. You know when to stop. You know all that. You know what I'm saying? And to me, it just seems like he don't know when to stop. He don't know when enough is enough. He don't know when to just take your L as a man and move on. He got to, he got to, every, every, every other post or every other thing, he had to say something. And then you could tell he really in his feelings when that whole, uh, that whole him speaking on the mic at that club, that told you right there how much he was in his feelings. And even though I said that was about J. Cole, but still and all, this is this is, this is is what we're dealing with here, man. This is crazy. I won the battle. And, you know, and, and he's got the perfect out to say why, right? Even though we all know he lost. He never engaged with Kendrick one-on-one -on -one except for the hard part six. Push-ups was more than one person. Okay. The tailor-made freestyle was him telling Kendrick, come on, yo, come with it, come with it, come with it. Uh, family Matters, he talks about a bunch of different rappers. Hard Part 6 is the one where he really just talked to kids. That's when he was defeated. See, the Hard Part 6, the beat was the best part of that song. But he tried to go the Kendrick route, and he lost. Kendrick, I'll put it to you like this. Kendrick went Kendrick's route. Drake tried to follow his lead. You can't follow Kendrick's lead. You're not Kendrick. You can't do it. I, I, I wish people understand this. Kendrick is a miles. He's, he, I would say he's light years ahead of Drake and, and J. Cole. I'm telling y'all right now. From what I heard, all I heard all that music. Every one of their albums. I heard all Drake music. I heard all Cole music. And I heard all Kendrick music. 
my assessment of all that is Kendrick is light years ahead of them. I'll be honest with you. Kendrick is probably light years ahead of probably every rapper because he does things that I think rappers could never do. They could never do certain of the things they do or they ain't patient for it. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. See, to be a great dope artist, you have to be patient and you got to be good at what you do. And Kendrick Lamar is both. You know what I'm saying? He's willing to sacrifice time to make sure that he put out a quality project. There's nothing you can say. Drake doesn't have any project better than any of his albums. Any project better than any Kendrick album. J. Cole doesn't have any project better than any Kendrick's album. I don't care what nobody says. You could pull out Forest Hill Drive. I don't care. Section 80 is better than everything J. Cole did. Uh, Mr. Morale is better than everything J. Cole did. Mr. Morale is better than everything Drake did. Everything. And those, those, those would be considered his, his, his mild albums. You know, some people say, I say that uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is, is his most important album, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? But for some people, they take it as if, like, it's trash. And the only reason why they're saying it's trash is because he's coming off of Damn. You know what I'm saying? And Damn was so, it was so, uh, how would I say this? It was so well received across the board that when he comes out with an album about what he's going through mentally and his and his physical and his mental state, people don't know how to take that. But I got a breakdown coming. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy. I'm, you know what I am think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to release an episode every every two weeks or every week, probably every two weeks. I'm going to release maybe, maybe one or two songs, and then I'm going to put it all together and release the whole thing. Because I don't, want, I don't really want to hold on to this because I've already done like, I'm already done like maybe 50% of it. So I'm going to start releasing some of it. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's get back to this. Directly. So all you got to do is say, I'll beat 20 people by myself. Like, own it. Don't even say you, matter of fact, you don't even got to lie. What did Trump say? I basically tell the truth. I basically tell the truth. You don't even got to say you beat Kendrick. All you got to do is be like, yo, I took on 20 people by myself yeah. and came out unscathed. <laughs> but that's what, what that Trump said about the debate. Why do you think one? that's kind I took out 20 people by myself and came out unscathed. <laughs> even though he came out very scathed. But why do y'all think that's going to do anything? This is still going to come at him. You say what? They're still going to come at him. He can say that, and people are still going to come at him. Yeah, but then he still has a group of people that... See, the thing is, I understand exactly what they're saying. Um, and I don't really want to get into the, the whole debate of the politics of Trump and Kamala. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go vote, though. Anyway, um, the thing about uh, him saying he took on 20 people... What people notice is, is he could say that, but people are going to pay attention to the one who beat you. It doesn't matter if you say you took on 20 people. They'll say, oh, it's unfair. Well, you chose that. And on top of that, here's what a lot of people are not saying about this whole thing. And I wish people start calling it out for what it is. Drake did this to himself. All the people that came at him is because he did this to himself. It wasn't that everybody all of a sudden just start coming at him. He is the one who been doing slimy, dirty, goofy, doodle ball stuff for years and years and years and years. You cannot, and I repeat, I said this before and I'm going to say it again. You cannot keep planting landmines all over the place. You start to forget where you put them at. And guess what? You got to run back through that field. And when you run through that field, boom, 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 blowing up on you. There's only one that you really know that you planted, and it's right there. But all the other little ones, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna contribute to your demise. You know what I'm saying? ASAP Rocky to the to the to the Rick Rosses, you know, Future, Metro Booming, Weekend. Weekend is probably one of the big landmines over there. Kendrick, big landmine over there. You know them. But the rest of them, but then there's other people. There's so many people that Drake has done foul and done dirty to that they don't even speak on it. They don't. You know what I'm saying? And I think, and the reason why is because I think a lot of people, they ain't, I don't think they're physically scared of Drake. And I don't think they're physically scared of his entourage. I just think that he has a lot of pull in the industry. 
know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, a lot of people was waiting for this time. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. He's like, you know, you know who Drake is? Drake is Joffrey. That's who Drake is. I'm going to put that on the thumbnail. Drake is Joffrey. If you guys don't know who Joffrey is, go watch Game of Thrones and you'll see that's Drake. He's Joffrey. He definitely is. I believe he exactly. did. Like, he's got one of the biggest armies in the world. Yes. His supporters are going to rally behind him. He still are, though. So that's what I'm saying. What does it matter? But he should be in line with them. The narrative. Yeah, exactly. Like, they probably feel like they're doing the heavy lifting. Grant with a chat, nigga, can't he? And another thing, too. I think we are all living in a delusional world, including myself, all of us, even y'all out there, too. We all living in this kind of a delusional world. We all fall into the narrative. Instead of us looking at the truth, we, we will go along with the narrative because we don't want to be singled out. And we all do this until we wake up. I wake up. We wake up. I'm wrong sometimes. Everybody's wrong. Not going to admit that. But the narrative is what controls our minds nowadays. And we just go along with it. Even if in, in everything, think about it, in everything, you would know that something is not right. And just because it's a part of a narrative, you'll just go along with it because you don't want no problems or you just don't want to be, you know, seen as a person going against the narrative. And I think that this is that's a big thing. So even if he said when he says basically, basically, the narrative is like just lying, just lying to get ahead. So it's like, OK, what does the narrative say? The narrative says that uh, Drake won, right, in, in his camp. He just go along with it. And then you might be a part of his camp, or you might camp, or you might be a part of his fan club, and you might be like, I don't think he won, but yeah, he won. Because people just want to go along with everything. You know what I'm saying? Even do nothing to defend this shit. <laughs> Yo, Andy! <laughs> Grandy! Grandy! Grandy with the Charlotte shout out of brilliant idiots! Have Axe said anything Historic. about Historic! <laughs> Follow Grant Davies because he got shut down. Follow Grant Davies on Instagram. Have Axe said anything about this? I don't know. Uh, like, there's nothing you can do to defend this. Yeah. You know what nah, I mean? you're right. Axe probably poured out some Henny. And Axe ain't pouring out no Henny. Okay? Axe <laughs> probably poured out some Henny for Drake after he saw that Yo, video. You know what's interesting timing-wise? This is, this is interesting. He finished the tour, and then the beef started. Yeah. So, now, he could do a show anywhere and sell it out, but it's a little different when... You can go do shows every weekend. Like if, so, if you're someone's talking shit and it looks like it's over for you, but then you go do sold out shows and have the craziest thing ever, and people come out, you completely dispel the narrative. But the tour was again back to the narrative. We all know that Drake has fans. He has a loyal fan club. So just because he sells out a a, a show doesn't mean I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Just because Drake sells out a show or does something that doesn't mean anything, because. He, whether he battled Kendrick or not, that was, was gonna it was gonna happen because he's a star. The thing is, where did he go after this? That's the thing. See, you could live, he could Drake could retire today and live off the rest of his music. But see, the problem with that is that loss that he just took is a major loss. It's probably the biggest loss in hip hop history. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that nobody got hurt, like physically got hurt. But that's, well, close, him or Kendrick, I'm saying. We all know something happens between people, and that, that wasn't right. But anyway, he took a major loss. So he can't just go and, and, go and, and start doing something new without addressing this loss. He has to address this loss. He has to address this loss. He could say whatever you want. He got away with it once with Pusha T. But... This one here, he can't get away with it because th that song is still running. It's the only, it's probably, I believe it's one of the only rap songs in the top 100. It's like three rap songs in the top 100. And Not Like Us is one of them. And people could say, oh, well, it's because he was dissing Drake. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If that's the case, then why didn't Drake's songs ain't being successful? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Like when people say stuff like that to me, I just laugh. Like, Oh, it's still because he dissing Drake. So, what does that mean? Oh, because if, if without that, no, Kendrick had, he had number ones before. He had songs before that went number one. You don't need Drake to go number one. Like, I think a lot of people forget how big Kendrick Lamar is. I think they just think that, 
first of all, I think a lot of people forget how big California is. Honestly, you could be from Cali. You could be from New York. Cali, New York, and Texas. You could be from them three states. You don't ever have to go anywhere else in America. Just those three states. If you are from Cali and people support you in Cali, let's just say, let's just say you Kendrick and you said, you know what, I'm just going to stay in Cali, right? You're, you could still sell platinum record because it's, I believe there's over 30 million people in California. New York, same way. Texas, same thing. I believe Florida too. Those four states, I would say. Outside of that, you don't need to go anywhere else. You don't. Now, th the difference between that is uh, Drake has a, a country behind him. Well, we would say Toronto is, would, would be uh, Canada. That's a con uh, Canada is the country, of course. But he has a country behind him. But the problem with that is he's always in America. You know what I'm saying? And people, I would say people respect him there, but they, they, they like him here too. But it's different ways to skin a cat when it comes to uh, being number one. People think that you just got to be number one because you got 100 hits. But you, but you got to also calculate, but well, those 100 hits is what? So let's say, let's say you got 100 hits, but out of those 100 hits, uh, 30 of them came out when there was no music out or nobody coming out because if there's competition nine times out of ten you're not going to have 100 hits but that's the smart way of doing it i guess so let's just say let's say the weekend can uh, the weekend kendrick uh uh the weekend kendrick taylor swift billy irish adele uh in uh post malone and um who else uh let's just say Bruno Mars, this is Bruno Mars and Beyonce. Let's say they all came out at the same time when and Drake came out. You think Drake's going to go number one? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Probably It probably would be Taylor Swift, Post Malone, The Weeknd, or, or Taylor Swift, Post Malone, Beyonce, Weekend, or something like that. Then, then, what's the name? But now, I can almost guarantee you, if it happened today, if it happened right now, out of all of those, if it happened right now, Kendrick would go number one. I can almost guarantee that. Almost. It's over. Yeah, man. It's, there's nothing for him to pop out to to show that people are going crazy. That's true. Wow. So it looked he's like sitting he's home. sitting at home. Yeah. Oof. Me, myself, crazy. and I. <laughs> yeah. Yo, imagine sitting alone at home when I'm alone in my room. Sometimes I stare <laughs> at the wall. And in the back of my mind, you hear me, myself, and I by Beyonce? Yeah. As a man? Nah, Drake, we need to nah, we need yeah. Drake to puff his chest yeah. a little bit. Damn. I need confident Drake back, bro. Yeah, I, know. I need I mean, at this point, do Drake really want to puff his chest out? I mean, do Drake really want another lot like us to hit him over the top of the head? He don't. He literally, Kendrick has Drake scared. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Some of the stuff that Drake dropped, we don't know if it was new or not. Maybe the one Delilah John was new, and maybe a couple other joints, but he dropped all these joints, 16 to be, 16 or 15, I believe. And he hasn't uh, done anything to me that's worthy of uh, even touching the four, the five songs that Kendrick has done. Let's be clear here. The five songs that Kendrick has done is better than, probably better than a lot of people's whole catalog. Those five joints that he just dropped, the verse not like uh, 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 from uh, like that, Euphoria, 616 in L.A., Meet the Grams, not like us. If that was an album, it would probably go 100 times platinum. Now I'm bugging. But it probably would, it would, go, it would probably go platinum. If he just released that as an EP, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And I just don't see th the thing is. Now, I, I, I gave a solution to Drake. I gave it on my last podcast, my last show. I said, I think Drake should just go ahead and rap. Just rap, bro. Don't worry about it. Just rap. Don't diss Kendrick. Just come out with a rap album. Just do something totally different from what you usually do. Get a, get a super fire producer, different, different producers, and just do a whole rap album. And even if, 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 I'm, if I'm Drake, I will address that. I'll address the, the song. But I'll put it in the point where um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll be a little arrogant. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be like, look, y'all say I'm not a part of the culture war. I was, I, I was the one that helped held this culture up while everybody else was out taking a nap. Look what I did. That's what I would do if I was him. But this and Kendrick ain't gonna work because he's just gonna he's just gonna smoke you. Confident, you moving like a fragile maggot. <laughs> <laughs> Drake. <laughs> oh, like he is. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, that's what I would do if I was him. Because you can't compete with Kendrick, bro. You can't. He has, Kendrick checkmated you to the point where people are questioning your career now. See, it was different when people were just questioning the battle. But now people are starting to question your career. And it's like, you haven't done anything that's changing, changing how people feel. You know what I'm saying? People are starting to feel this way. It's even people who really mess with you are really saying, like, they starting to feel. Like, the thing is, here's the thing. Drake got exposed. People can say whatever they want to say, but he got exposed. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick exposed him. He opened up the door to show everybody what, look what this guy is really about. Look at him. Whether he's a PDF, whatever. But he exposed him. He also exposed that he can't go, he, he can't go round for round with Kendrick. None of them can. J. Cole or what's his name? Or Drake. They can't go round for round with this dude. He exposed that. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the moment that we just witnessed. We just witnessed one rapper come and beat up on two rappers who are considered two of the greatest of all time. Two. It's not like he beat up on one. He came at two. Then he went after one. But one of them backed down. It just goes to show you, like, none of these dudes want smoke with that dude, man. They don't. They don't. Because he's he's he is an animal. He is a monster. He is the boogeyman. He is. So. All right, man. Y'all have a good morning, man. Thank y'all for being here with me. I love y'all, man. Y'all have a good day, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>